Now the lyrics. Uh, the lyrics give the song a specific meaning. You're finally, you're putting words to the song and you're saying that this is what the song is quote unquote about. It brings music out of the abstract and into the literal. Now you might not want that. You might actually enjoy music remaining abstract and then there's a very good argument for, for doing instrumental music because then you don't have that whole uh, thing looming over you about oh, what should I write this song about? Uh, you know, what... Uh, how can I write it so that it rhymes, but it doesn't sound, you know, trite or it doesn't sound, you know, um, corny? I mean, th these are these are challenges to writing lyrics, and uh, so if you don't want to write lyrics, you don't have to. Uh, but uh, if you choose to write lyrics, they can be literal or they can be metaphorical, um, and the amount of literalness or metaphoricalness of your lyrics is totally up to you. Uh, some people write you know, extremely literally. Uh, I tend to write somewhat literally. Other people write, you know, about the skin of the moon or whatever. Stuff that doesn't even make any sense in a literal sense, but sounds really cool. Uh, they can have a special significance to you. And I think when they do have a special significance to you, when they really come from the heart, they tend to uh, be inspired. They tend to just really flow. And the result is something that comes easily and and oftentimes is of better quality than something that if you tried to force it to become. Uh, and on along those lines, <laughs> this is just a piece of advice. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going around telling everybody what your lyrics mean. You'll probably want to kind of guard them anyway, but the reason I say this is because people are going to ask you especially if you have a decent song. People are going to ask you, what is that song about? What does that mean? If you're writing about a girl or somebody of the opposite gender or, you know, somebody that you have a you know, relationship with or had a relationship with, they're going to want to know the, the gossip. And uh, it, it hinders your process as, a, as an artist, I think. When you know, when you're writing stuff, that you're going to have to explain it later. It makes you it makes you less open to really expressing what you mean, what how you really feel. So if you just make it a policy to just not talk about that stuff generally, and obviously it's up to you if you want to tell your mom, tell your wife, whatever, up to you. But um, if you just make it a general policy not to tell people, I think it's going to make you more liberated. It's going to allow you to write more what you actually feel rather than uh, what you think people want to hear. Uh, now, so the songwriting process. I think the most important thing about songwriting is that you don't want to force anything. It should just sort of come out of you. And you should have fun with it. You know, if you want to just sit down and jam on your guitar or, or hammer on your piano, do it. Don't, don't try to say, I'm going to write a song right now. Because, uh, I don't know, that's... Uh, There's something to be said for, for having a purpose, but you don't want to make it into a task. Because the minute it becomes a task, it becomes no fun. And then, you know, it's like pulling teeth to do it. And the songs start in different ways. Chords, melodies, lyrics, ideas, emotions. I've had songs originate from all these different things. Um, so it's great to have a method but try not to ignore the possibility that inspiration is going to come from an unexpected source, from something that it hasn't come from in the past. So just try to be open to that. If you're just jamming on your guitar and you hear something that you just played and it's like, whoa, that's pretty cool, you know, go ahead and try to develop that and see if it turns into a song. And the songwriting process is really a process of endless revision. Because Say with lyrics, for instance, you write some lyrics and it's like, man, there's this one lyric that's just bugging me. It just sounds a little corny. Well, probably it is a little corny and probably it needs to be adjusted. Don't throw the song away. Just adjust it. You know, all songs are excellent songs that are just waiting to uh, become what they, what they need to become. And uh, so that's what, I would, that's what I would do. I would think of each song as like 
having this golden potential, and it's just a matter of kind of tweaking it into being what it what it can be. Uh, so now when it's time to unveil your song. Say you've finished writing a song and you're pretty proud of it, and you want to you want to show it to the world. A few different options here. You can play it live. This has got this is an interesting way to do it uh, because it's a very it's a very emotionally charged sort of a thing. Uh, I get you know I definitely get some palpitations uh, in my chest when I am about to go up on stage because uh, it's uh, it's it's stressful to get up there in front of a crowd and, and uh, show them this piece of you that, uh, that presumably you know these songs were uh, deep and meaningful to you and you're now going to unveil them to this crowd of, of you know strangers or loved ones even and uh, how they judge those songs is kind of a direct impact on how they're judging your emotional core. <laughs> so if you don't want to play live, don't. I mean, that's the best advice that I have for you. Just don't do it. Um, I, I would I would recommend trying it. Uh, you know, I would recommend trying it if you can. But if, if you don't feel up to it, uh, don't worry about it. Not everybody is a is a performer by nature, uh, so it could be that it's just not your thing. Uh, so you might also try recording. Recording is almost the opposite of playing live because when you're recording a piece, unlike when you're playing live when you pretty much only have one chance to get it right, when you're recording you have an infinite number of chances to get it right. Now you're thinking, awesome, that's wonderful. Well, <laughs> it is but it isn't. It's not wonderful because you will, if you're a perfectionist, uh, you will use up your infinite chances to get it right. Like you will, you will play the same piece a thousand times and you'll get so sick of it that you want to smash your guitar and, uh, and you still won't have a, an album take, as it were. Uh, so recording can be very frustrating. Um, it, it takes just a certain amount of practice to uh, get to the point where you can, you know, where you can lay down a take in like one shot or two shots or something like that, where you're not just killing yourself to to get out a, a recording. So, I'd recommend practicing a lot with the microphone off, you know, not recording, and uh, and then not being so critical of your of your recordings, at least initially.